Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Sarah Tonks. I'm a cosmetic doctor in London. I am here today with something big. So loads of people, after this video was released, sent me DMs. You're all sliding into my DMs, all asking the same question, what has Cheryl done? So I decided I was gonna take three of your top celebs and let's find out exactly what I think they've had done. And just before I start doing this, I just want to make it like 110% clear that the reason I'm doing this is to level the playing field, yeah? I just want to let you know that they don't have special celebrity genes, they're normal humans, just like you and I, except they have a little bit of, you know, a little, little bit of help. Just to be clear, what I am doing is not picking apart the way that these women look um, for some kind of tabloid style salacious reason. I'm trying to do it so that you guys at home can understand, hey, you know what, I really like this woman's nose or I really like her chin or, you know, the, the structure of her face. I really wish that I was born like that, like she was. Well, I want to show you that it's possible. You can do it too. It just depends. Okay, fine. It just depends on what you're born with. So you do kind of have to work a little bit with that, but small refinements are possible. There's nothing wrong with having surgery. There's nothing wrong with having injectables, wearing makeup, wearing these clothes or that clothes. I'm no stranger to having surgery myself. I've had a few things done. I've had injectables done. So I'm really not saying that this is a bad thing and trying to, you know, pick them apart. I'm trying to show you that this is, I hesitate to use the word normal but it's certainly how it appears to me from my perspective but I do wonder whether or not that's slightly skewed because this is my job this is what I do every day so I don't know you tell me in the comment section below is this normal now I'm not sure anyway you're probably wondering who the heck I'm talking about I am of course referring to Cheryl Cole and I think we all know the one scary picture, um, which I'm talking about, where she's like leaning into the camera like this with this like really weird shocked expression on her face. What is that about? Um, I think she's maybe just had something done here and it's a bit swollen. Um, when everything settled down, I, I am sure it will look lovely. Do you remember when Carla Brunei did the same thing and then she was pictured outside and she had these massive swollen puffy cheeks? I, I feel like this is probably the same thing going on for our Shazza here. But let's just recap what a transformation she has had. So looking at this first picture back in 2002, um, wow. Have you noticed that her dimples are getting smaller and smaller each year. She's definitely having something put in there to try and decrease them. Because uh, remember guys, that's kind of what aging is. Well, to me anyway, when I'm looking at a face, I try and see which parts are the most shadowed or the most surprising or the most um, downgrading, so to speak. Um, and then you, you, adjust those and it kind of brings the face more into harmony, more into balance and that's kind of what she's done here. So by uh, fixing her teeth, by, she's from Newcastle guys by the way, um, by, I'm just saying that because that's where I did my first degree up in Newcastle, um, I owe the tune, um, and by doing her dimples she's kind of just brought a bit more harmony to her face. The difference between then and now, um, so obviously there is a lot more fullness in the cheek area. Whether or not that's swelling, I don't know. Could be. My only criticism about this is the lip. So I really can't stand it when, when um, injectors do this kind of vertical injection into the lip to make it kind of rotate up but and give lots of length here. I, I do not like that at all. I'm, it's not my taste. And you know, I think she's kind of facing this difficult period. So I don't know exactly how old she is right now, but we can't be too dissimilar in age. And 
I think as you get older, it is harder and harder to maintain your looks, frankly, because everything's starting to slow down, you know, your skin's starting to look a bit more tired, you're starting to get more fine lines and wrinkles, fat is disappearing from certain places and appearing in places where you don't want it to be, and it's tricky. So there comes a time in everyone's life when we do tend to kind of want to overfill the cheeks a bit in order to get lift and in order to to get that youthful plumpness that we had back but unfortunately with age there is definitely a trade-off between looking ridiculous and looking you know tight lifted younger um and I f and around this sort of age is when you begin to see it i know i didn't look as good as i did four years ago that's for sure next up someone who is very gorgeous indeed, Ariana Grande. So I think we can all agree there's something going on with the brow here. I think also maybe she's had something put in her forehead because it does look a bit rounder in the after picture. Possible, maybe fat, maybe filler, not sure. Um, definitely a rhinoplasty. The most interesting change is in the jawline because she does have an amazing jawline. How did she get that? Well. You see in the before picture, the chin is almost like a separate unit to the rest of the jawline, and there's a gap kind of here. It's my theory that she's filled this section here and also the angle of the jaw to make it extremely straight. And it looks really good. Uh, I also can see that she's done some lip filler, but again, it's nice, it's very tasteful. What I wasn't prepared for was this picture. I mean, who even is that? Is that her? Uh, who is that? That could be one of like a thousand women on Instagram. But apparently, yes. Yes, viewer, that is her. And what's the difference? Well, clearly, cheeks. Clearly. Clearly, she's had more lip done. And it looks like she's had a bit more chin done as well. The face looks longer. Maybe she's even done some fat dissolving injections in the lower part of the face. I mean, it could be makeup. But there's one thing that I want to make like 110% clear to you guys. Cheeks like this, cheeks that get better as you get older, it doesn't exist. It's not real. It's not real. Listen, it's not real. People's cheekbones don't suddenly magically appear out of nowhere. No, they're made. Trust me, I do this every day. I know what's real and what isn't real. Don't try and question my sense of reality, people. Speaking of reality, let's go over to our third most requested face, the Duchess of Sussex. And for all of you Meghan fans out there, what I am saying is yes these cheekbones are not real and here is the proof so check it out not so full when she was younger not so high much higher and fuller and like why wouldn't she do it she was an actress she was in hollywood she was in suits which by the way i did not like but you can't just go from having a cheek which is low to having one which is high it, it's like it doesn't happen it's impossible but I think whoever has done it, they've done a great job. It's lovely. You know, her, her cheekbone looks really nice and defined. It looks really natural. Um, her jawline looks fantastic. Note how the chin is also longer in the after picture. Um, and we've definitely got a rhinoplasty going on here. But, you know, so what? Who hasn't done their nose? And then the second shot of her... Again, we can see that the most of the fullness in the face is kind of down here rather than being higher up on the cheekbone here. I know what the internet is going to say. Oh, well, you know, she, she's lost some fat from her face. She's lost her baby weight. Yes, but she hasn't changed the position of a zygoma, has she? Uh, I also think she's maybe done something with her smile. So in the before picture, um, the smile is very broad and almost too broad. So this is something that I struggle with in the clinic, by the way, all the time, because as you get older, you show more of your lower teeth when you're smiling. So if you put some Botox down there, it means that you don't see the lower teeth quite as much. Yes, it feels weird when you first have it done, but trust me, objectively, it looks better. 
and literally who cares if it feels weird you will get used to it you will get used to it okay just get used to it um and i think probably she's also put some filler here too uh to decrease not only her nose to mouth lines but also the amount that the smile lifts up to so that you can see less of the the gum on smiling okay guys that's it for today I literally have to go I've got a very hot day over in Kensington Palace just to reiterate again I am NOT throwing any shade on these women at all I'm just trying to point out that people once again don't have special celebrity genes people aren't born looking like this it's it's man-made, it's manufactured, it's just little tweaks. So I'm trying to help you see how maybe that could apply to yourself. If there's something that you've always wanted to maybe change or alter or steal from a celebrity uh, and how you, you can have it done is democratization of beauty people that is what i'm trying to do okay guys so i hope you enjoyed the video very much lee let me know in the comment section below if you disagree with me or if you agree with me and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow actually there's another video i will see you later